Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video and welcome to the first mining guide that I've made this year and I think about the first one for about a year as well. I finally got around to uh, making a mining guide on coal. This was one uh, that was requested by a few people so uh, it's going to work similar to my other mining guides. I'll just be showing you the main spots for it and just giving the pros and cons of each one and then doing a bit of evaluation at the end of it all. I'll be covering members and free to play here so nobody will miss out. So then a quick summary of the coal ore, it's not technically an ore actually, um, requires 35 mining, it's a free to play and pay to play ore, it's extremely useful for smithing, uh, especially if you're an iron man as well, and the average price per ore at the moment is about 250 GP, although this can fluctuate and get maybe as low as about 200, but also may go up as well. Something that will be particularly useful uh, while um, you mine is getting a coal bag, you can buy this from the motherload mine if you remember and it costs 100 golden nuggets and effectively it allows you to do two trips in one and it'll, yeah, it'll speed up your trips per hour certainly. Okay, our first spot then is the mining guild which requires 60 mining and I do recommend that you are a member for this method. And yes, it's just located in the dwarven mine, you can get there by uh, going to Falador or using a skills necklace which I will uh, just demonstrate now. So yes, you want to use that and teleport to the mining guild and then simply walk south from there straight through the door and you enter the free to play area first. So this has got yeah, tons of coal rocks and a couple of mithril adamant and iron rocks and also a shop if you want to buy a pickaxe while you're there. And if you go through the next door, which is the members only area, you can see uh, uh, even more coal rocks, more mithril rocks, and even a couple of runite rocks in the corner. And yes, simply the coal rocks are scattered around, and um, you'll see uh, shortly uh, that the bank is very close here. So um, it doesn't really matter if you use the free to play spots or the members spot, the bank's pretty close for both. Um, yeah, this is if you are a member, but um, if you are free to play, then you'll have to use. Um, the spots to the north and uh, it's not too much difference apart from the fact you can't use the bank in the members area you'll have to bank at Falador which uh, I'll just demonstrate in a second so banking at members you'll be banking just at the far west part of the mining guild and yes either a deposit box or a bank chest for that and when you're banking in the free to play area it's simply go up these ladders which are just um, to the west of the southern area and you'll come out in Falador and then simply just go to the bank which is uh, very close as you can see and use either the deposit box or the bank there and then you can make your way uh, back down and do some more mining our next spot is the Lovakite mine based in Lovakenge in Zaire uh, requiring 30% favour and there are not many recommendations for this that I can think of and the location of it, um, yes, the Lovercote Mine in Lovercenge, and you can get there by using a Xerix Talisman, which I will demonstrate in just a second. This is obtainable from Lizardmen, and you can also get there through things like the minecart system as well, so it doesn't have to be that. And yes, you want to teleport to Xerix Inferno, and that will take you to the furnace, and you just want to run straight east from there, or you can also go north and then east. And then you enter the Lovercote Mine, and yes, full of coal as you can see. And the bit we will be using is right to the north, and you can see there's a big cluster of coal rocks there, uh, all ready to mine, and uh, extremely close to a bank as well. Um, so yeah, so yeah, this mine's probably the one place to come if you don't actually have a coal bag, because uh, it really doesn't make a huge difference um, if you have one uh, or not, as the bank is just so close. And yeah, I'd probably say it's definitely one of the top. Um, top spots for coal and it's just extremely relaxing as there's not usually too many people there and uh, there's not really any uh, monsters that can uh, annoy you either so yeah this spot's pretty much perfect and if you want to combine it with smithing you can you can just go to the furnace at the center and mine the coal here and simply for banking it's just running straight uh, south into the yeah pretty much nearest bank there's quite a few around here but um, yeah this one's the closest And yeah, simple, just like that. Next up, we've got the Coltrox, which is, I'm not sure if it's a very well-known spot, but um, yeah, no real requirements for it, although you do have to be a member. And what I recommend, uh, recommend is uh, 29 plus combat, I think it's to avoid the bats in the area. And also, um, if, you, if you're not teleporting to the bank, then 20 agility to use the shortcut and pretty much, yeah, pretty much do exactly um, uh, what the Coltrox, uh, what their purpose is. 
In terms of their location, uh, here's a pretty uh, simple map showing uh, where they are. You can either get there by the fishing guild teleport or the games necklace to barbarian outpost teleport. And then if you're going to use the actual system, then you're going to want to use the agility shortcut. I'll be demonstrating all of this and run past the McGrubber's Wood to the bit in the Sears village. And then you can use that to bank. One way to get there then is to use the games necklace teleport to the barbarian outpost. Uh, pretty easy, pretty affordable for any level. And then you just want to run straight south from here. And it, it, it is quite a run to be honest, but uh, you should make it before your run diminishes uh, completely. And just down the hill and then straight through the gates so that you'll know this bit from Dwarf Cannon Quest. And here you have the coal trucks, so uh, tons of coal trucks. No, tons of coal rocks, that's more like it. Um, and also some bats which are aggressive, um, which is why I recommend you do have, I think, 29 combat again to avoid these. And uh, the way the system works, uh, it's not too uh, difficult. Simply, you will just mine the coal um, here, and then you see that truck over there. You will just deposit your coal uh, into those trucks, and it can hold 125, so eff effectively you can do five inventories before you have to actually bank. And yes, you can just um, investigate it to check how much is in there. And then from here, you're gonna wanna go to, uh, yes, uh, Sears Village where all the coal actually goes to. So one way to get here is just simply by running and using the agility shortcut. You can also just teleport to Camelot and run from there. Or if there's anything closer, then use that. And follow the track all the way past McGrubber's Wood. And then you can collect your coal from here and then deposit it into your bank uh, from there. Make a few trips to the Sears Village Bank. I think the, yeah, the Camelot Teleport could come in very handy here as with the hard achievement diaries or, you know, or the medium ones, you can move the teleport closer to the bank. So you wanna do that five times and then you can head back and start doing it again. I do have a video on this, so I will link that in the description if you want to know a bit more about the coal trucks. And yeah, about 422 coal per hour I got from this, although that may well have changed with uh, new methods of doing it, but uh, that's for me. Okay, the next spot is the Fossil Island uh, coal site. Um, this can be locked by completing the quest Bone Voyage, and that requires 100 kudos as well. Um, yeah, 20 coal rocks um, are just uh, close to the bank. I'll just be showing you how to get there uh, in a second. One of the fastest ways is to simply use the dig site pendant and uh, you can either teleport to Fossil Island or dig site uh, but I usually go straight to the dig site and take the boat. So just use uh, the barge, <coughs> cool, no voice there, barge workman for that and then you want to head straight uh, north and then a little bit east and you'll find your way to um, yeah, a mine which has uh, all rocks and you can see a lot of coal and surrounded by some uh, mithril adamant and a couple of rune rocks there too. So yeah, this spot um, is quite out of the way. As I said, uh, it's quite quiet and uh, as you'll see, it's relatively uh, close to the bank. And yes, on that note, you do need to create the bank uh, once you are here. I think you just need um, some, I think, a construction level for that. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but uh, you will probably have that if you've done that quest. And yes, just head back into the village and you can use the bank chest just there. Again, uh, very, very simple stuff. Okay, this next spot is a free to play spot and it's in the Dwarven Mine. And I would recommend, it's not essential, but I would recommend 65 combat for this. And yes, yeah, in the Dwarven Mine, just near the Mining Guild, actually. And yes, as for getting there, um, if you start in Falador and you just make your way east, you can also enter the Dwarven Mine via that entrance north of Falador but I'd recommend just teleport to Falador, run all the way east, and then through the dungeon, uh, all the way to the northeast of the town. And yes, you've got a bunch of uh, coal rocks here, and uh, yes, those king scorpions is why you may want to have 65 combat, although there's only a couple of them, um, they can be quite annoying, and especially if you're low level, they can hit you quite hard. There are some other spots that are free to play that I will go through uh, in just a second, but I think this is probably one of the best ones because uh, it's the closest to the bank and it's not too crowded and there are a lot of ores uh, available here. Banking is uh, very straightforward here. Simply, it's just uh, pretty much going out the way that you came in. So up the stairs, south back into the centre of the town and just using that bank, um, yeah, use the bank in the east part of the town. 
and you can head back for another round. An alternative way to get coal is to use the mother load mine which you can access by using the skills te uh, necklace teleport to the mining guild and then just mining any of the ore veins uh, inside. So yeah, you can go anywhere else. This is the um, uh, normal area but if you have 72 mining uh, you can use the upstairs area which I'll demonstrate in just a second. So this is probably a more AFK, mine, uh, AFK way to mine coal and also you can get other ores at the same time as well as gems. Uh, it tends to be quite busy but because there's so many ores uh, you'll be able to get through uh, an inventory uh, fairly quickly. So yeah, once you have uh, done your inventory, it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward what happens next. So you just want to make your way to the middle of the mine and deposit it in the hopper and then use a hammer to uh, fix those wheels if, you, uh, if they're not working already. Usually they are, but uh, if they're not, you can get one from the crates nearby. And once you've done that, you get another XP drop and then you can collect your ore and uh, some of it will include coal as well as other ores. So yes, you can get a balance of them all this way and it's more FK way of uh, doing it if you really despise mining that much, which uh, if you do, then I probably don't blame you. I do think about why I got 99 sometimes, but yeah, the fact is I did. So uh, yeah, and then of course the bank is just um, close by and then you can start again. And finally, you can also use the Blast Mine, which is based in Greater End, uh, to get coal. It's pretty similar to the Motherload Mine in terms of how much coal you get, and yeah, it's quite straightforward. Uh, as you can see here, I do have four videos on the Motherload Mine and the Blast Mine, as well as the coal trucks, which I showed earlier on in the video, and the Mining Guild. So you can always check out those if you're unsure on any of these methods, or just drop me a message in the comments or personal. And yes, yeah, so once you've done around here, you just need to deposit the ore uh, into the hopper nearby or the, uh, the sack which goes into the hopper and then that will make its way around and once you get the XP drop or you collect from the operator and you'll get a nice XP drop and that'll include some coal in there so yeah another innovative way uh, to get coal and you get other ores as well so perhaps this might be the method for you and finally just some other spots then uh, free to play you can mine coal at Falador Wilderness, Barbarian Village, Alcarid and Varrock. Uh, you can find um, spots there. And as for members, I've already mentioned the Motherload Mine and the Blast Mine. There's a few rocks in Keldegrim. Uh, the Island Monastery, you can use the Teleport from the Achievement Diary Cape to get there. And the Grand Tree uh, Mine beneath the actual tree. Uh, you can use that as well to get coal. So yeah, of course I haven't covered everything. But uh, yeah, if you do want to mine elsewhere, then these would be your spots. As for the hourly rates of coal, uh, usually about 400 to 600 per hour is possible uh, when you're mining at uh, the best speed. And in terms of money, that equates to about 100 to 150 kgp uh, per hour. In terms of the fastest spot, I'd say you're probably uh, the Lovakite mine or the mining guild are probably the fastest ways of doing this. And they don't really matter if you have a coal bag or not with these uh, because the bank is so close. So yeah, I'd probably recommend uh, the mining guild uh, or if you've only got 35 mining, then probably the Lovakite mine. That's all from me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. As usual, I still enjoy making these uh, mining guides. I haven't covered literally everything, but I think we're getting there now. So if you've got any requests for mining guides, please let me know in the comments and I'll get to work on them straight away. As for the video schedule, as I said, it's going to be mostly uh, just one time a week now. I think I'm going to make Wednesday uh, the date for uploading. And uh, next week, we're going to have a progress video. So uh, you can look forward to that. And in the meantime, hope you're having a good time wherever you are. And I will see you next week.